Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is a video analysis on five top stocks that I'm looking at for 2019. There are many more that I'm looking at uh, because I'm a very active trader and investor. But these are five I just want to follow through the year for the Trade The Fifth community, um, whether it's swing trading or using the, the black box breakout indicator. Um, so I've selected these five. Uh, so we'll go through them all. All initially, we're going to look at the weekly time frame on each, and they're all pulling back on a wave for the moment. So this is the first one, PTC weekly time frame. Let's go through the chart, top to bottom here. So first of all, I've highlighted a really strong growth channel here over the last, you know, since 2015. Really, uh, we've had a really strong growth, bit of a parabolic move out of it in 2018, and then we've pulled back to test the bottom of the channel here towards the end of this year with this bearish correction we've seen in the markets right now. The next sub chart we've got is the 535 oscillator part of our Elliott wave indicator suite. The, the, the middle sub chart is our false breakout stochastic again part of our Elliott wave indicator suite. The bottom sub chart is our multiple time frame dot cloud which is available on our black box breakout indicator and our day trading add on suite. Now this is great multiple time frames. And what this looks at is our cloud. So if I just zoom in a little bit on the main chart, you will see our W5T EMA cloud here. OK, this is our cloud. Now, what this does on multiple time frames higher than the weekly. So we're looking at monthlies, quarterlies, yearlies with our key dots down at the bottom here, the yearly. It tells us where the price action is with regards to that yearly time frame or the monthly or the quarterly. Uh, so if it's cyan, it's in the cloud for that time frame. If it's green, it's above. If it's red, it's below. As you can see, our key time frame, the yearly time frame here um, on PTC, we have been above the cloud for a long time. We've just pulled back and we're finding support now in there on the quarterly and the monthly we are green uh, and we we are red um, on the weekly at the moment as you can see we're just below the cloud so what am i looking for on this particular for the for, for the first sort of quarter or something like that so ptc we've had a great wave for pullback this is the elliott wave indicator suite for our think or swim trading platform it's also available for ninja trader multi charts and trade station so we've had this pullback now on a wave four it's found supported a big support resistance zone here in white so I've just pull this up you see during this uh, big bearish correction we've tipped this a few times now we've got a, a big resistance level here as well big support so this is a big support resistance zone I've just drawn this on the chart but automatically what we've got here is the wave four has found support in our green zone so this gives us an 85% probability if this support holds and starts to move away 85% probability we're going to reach our automated target zone up here around about $117 there. So good little move. Um, the 535 oscillator for this weekly chart. So this measures the performance of uh, the wave four pullback. And at this moment in time, it is between 90 and 140% of the highest point on the wave three. So that's good. The stochastic, the false breakout gives us this yellow bar at the top, denoting a really strong bullish trend. Now it's pulled back against there and we'll look, it's crossed over twice now in the oversold zone. We're looking for that to return to that main bullish trend. The likelihood is that will happen. And then on our multiple time frame dot cloud, we can see overall we are strong bullish over a long period of time. We've got these cyan and, uh, cyan and red dots on the weekly. And uh, now we're below the cloud. What we're looking for now is to go into the cloud and that will go cyan. And then when we get above the cloud, we'll be all green with four with a green square at the top, giving us a good indication. It's a good time for a long. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. I've gone for an entry at 9207. So uh, this would be above the cloud. So we'll be all green on the dot cloud. Uh, you will see the crowning of the Elliott wave oscillator and we'll see the movement start to come back on the 
stochastic there so 9207 is the entry now this is a swing trade off the weekly time frame could take anything between 9 and 20 weeks to reach there uh, the stop loss is just below the wave 4 at 976.59 and the target is around about $117 something like that. good risk to reward good longer term swing obviously there will be other opportunities on this uh, particular stock as we go through the year and I'll be using the both the swing trading for the um, black box breakout indicator and the Elliott wave indicator suite to put some trades together uh, maybe on the 60 minute the daily and of course this 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 first trade on the weekly time frame and I will update those videos so let's have a look at the next on this it's Adobe now this could be quite ready let's just have a quick look now we're just going to pull back we can see this long-term bullish uh, trend channel here uh, that I've drawn on here for, again from 2015 we've seen really good strong bullish momentum now on the multiple time frame dot cloud you can see the bottom key level here the the yearly uh, it's pretty much been above that yearly cloud in, in the most of times and again we've got a similar sort of pattern here with this pullback on the weekly now we're just below the cloud the 535 oscillators good the, the stochastic just needs a little bit more to cross over in that oversold zone but it's very very close there we have found support initial support we, we the Christmas week we've had a big big rebound in the markets but we need that to continue so we're not quite ready to look for an entry right now all we can see is that we've found good support in our green zone great we've got good 535 oscillator and we've this support also is at a previous support resistance zone here we can see in white so we're starting to build the picture for Adobe we're looking for a potential fifth wave move but we want to make sure we're back into this uh, main channel so then we'll probably go down to the daily and look for potential trades maybe on the breakout to the upside we can see here we've been this this move down on the daily has found good support now we're on a wave four pullback this is why we've got to be a little bit cautious when we're looking for a long trade on adobe right now because this could then come back down and test this support level again so we need to get above this big support resistance zone just here we can see on the daily this really comes into play here we want to make sure we're above there and most likely above the, uh, the cloud on the daily as well if we get a close above the cloud and we get a breakout to the upside so we using our black box breakout indicator we get a signal I will put that signal out uh, for Adobe there so again this is something we're looking for for 2019 not all of them are going to set up for trades right now but these are the ones we're going to be keeping an eye on so let's go back to the weekly here and we'll go to the next on the list which is UNP again we're on a wave four pullback just zoom out again so we can see this is I mean, this is quite a wide trend channel and it does respect it very well you see this on the weekly time frame I go down to the month up to the up to the monthly time frame 20 years and draw these channels in as you can see the center line of this channel is really respected very very well here both support and resistance comes up test the top top end of the channel test the bottom end of the channel test this center line again found initial resistance we've had that one two threes push through the center line find resistance at the top end of the channel now we've pulled back to test this center line of the channel and that's what we're interested in right now we're looking for that potential fifth wave move we're looking for that center line to hold so let's go through our uh, subcharts first so the 535 oscillator looks good we're between 90 and 140 percent on this wave four stochastics not quite crossed in the oversold zone yet so a little bit more work to do there and the multiple time frame dot cloud we can see very strong longer term bullish trend and we've just pulled back slide on the weekly right now we're looking for those to go green again so we're getting close we have good support now on the way four we're in the red zone so this is last chance saloon really 75 percent probability it's going to go on and make that new wave five high around about 177 dollars in the middle of there now this is a really strong support and resistance zone in white i've drawn in here as well to coincide with that 
if it does break down further it looks like it may come down and test this sort of weak support resistance zone and most like the the channel but again we've got to be ready we've got to be prepared if we get a bullish run on this in the coming weeks and we get back above these support resistance zones here uh, we could be looking for a long so you know whether it's on this weekly time frame which gives us that overall fifth wave move potential that we're in uh, or on the daily for a breakout if that momentum continues to the upside again that might just been a one week wonder uh, during the Christmas period but if that does happen we're ready we're poised we're going to keep an eye on it and if we do break that wave four uh, and we break down below this support level we'll look for that to hold and look for a, a bounce off that very strong trend channel bottom line there so that's UNP not quite ready yet but really really in the crosshairs there the next is Costco so this looks this is pretty good let's go let's zoom out again and see that very strong bullish trend and we went parabolic recently outside of that channel now we've come back into that channel channels very 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 strong strong growth stock this uh, as you can see over the last um, oh God so many years now we can see this really really strong channel this year we've had a parabolic move out and then we've had a correction with the markets really and this is where we're looking for that correction to find support now again this is setting up on not just these five stocks a lot of stocks out there looking out there um, on these weekly channels and on the daily channels for those pullbacks and again our stock signals membership does allow you to get those every single day in a spreadsheet those potential trades so let's have a look at this wave four pullback right now see where we are what's happening so the wave four has found initial support in the amber zone that gives us an 80 percent probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zones up here around about in the middle of that zone is 262 262 dollars um, we found some good support on this way for at the center line of the longer term channel plus also this really strong support and resistance zone we can see here that I've drawn on in white here so again might be a one week wonder we need confirmation and a move away from there but it's looking good so far the 535 oscillator this wave four pullback just gone red it's between 90 and 140 very good we are in the oversold zone on the stochastic it's pulled back against those false breakout dots there in yellow against the strong bullish trend if that crosses over it will want to return to that main bullish trend again the mtf dot cloud longer term bullish on the day on the sorry on the yearly above the cloud here we've had this small pullback now on the weekly we're looking at to return back to green and looking for longs now it may be a fifth wave on the weekly that we get right now most likely if we come out of this channel again or we could be looking for breakouts on the daily time frame using the black box breakout indicator so it's not quite ready now unlike PTCE that we started off with but this is finding really good support right now we need that confirmation those moves away over the next week or so uh, and if that momentum starts to build we can't get a trade or an entry on this weekly we'll go down to the daily and we'll have a look at that let's have a look now just just to give you an example if we go down to the daily right now so you can see on the daily on Costco we've had this bearish move we've got a really strong support uh, and resistance zone here this is really really key if this current move down this is formed a wave three at the center line of that longer term channel this is now a wave four this wave four will fail if it breaks this wave one it's a major failure so if we get back above this big support and resistance zone here around about 218 dollars above them get a close and we get a breakout on our black box breakout indicator um, which this is we can see the gray the blue the green and the red bars here won't explain too much about that right now but if we do get that breakout above here above the cloud on the daily we'll be looking for the long breakout on the daily time frame backed up by that weekly fifth wave move so again we're just trying to tie in a couple of different strategies uh, to to build five strong stocks to trade this year so let's go back to uh, the weekly 
and then finally we are going to look at into okay so again this is a bit early but we've got to be ready let's go back let's zoom out again on this weekly channel now here I've been able to measure this parabolic move out which has happened over two years we've got a really strong what we what I call a 30 degree uh, channel here really longer term growth as we can see and the last two years we've had a parabolic move a 45 degree move now on that third wave so we've got some good momentum now it's pulled back against that uh, and this is where we're looking for that longer term swing on into when it does find good support so let's have a look at this right now so there's some options here we have got a small support resistance zone in white here it's not quite tested there yet um, the likelihood is it could do but initially we found that support in the green zone which is a good tick in the box the 535 oscillator for this wave 4 pullback is between 19 and 140%. But as you can see, there's a little bit more room to the downside if that happens. Also, we can see on our false breakout stochastic here, very strong yellow dots here, denoting a strong bullish move. We've pulled back against there. We're very close to crossing over in that oversold zone right now. So this could be it, it, there or thereabouts where we need that. But we're not going to go for an entry right now. We just know there's a potential fifth wave move on the weekly time frame for into with a target of around about $250 there. Uh, but we've got to be careful with this entry. We pro most lot, we've got a big resistance zone up here. So we're probably going to go down to the daily on this. But this gives us that overall feeling that, you know, once this pullback has found good support and we back that up with a move away from that wave for low, we're going to be looking for a long. We could swing it um, on this weekly time frame or indeed we could go down to the daily. So let's go down to the daily and I have a look for an example. So with the daily, we're on an ABC correction. Really, really good uh, sign here. Uh, we have got a bearish slant to this ABC correction. We're very, very close to that strong support and resistance zone here. So this is critical right now. We need to move back into the range of AB initially to break this ABC correction. And really, we need to be back in up into the channel and above this resistance zone here. And then we'll be looking at those breakouts on the long side on the daily a time frame or even the 60 minute time frame again I'm just going to track these five and just update these videos whether I you know if something comes out weekly or bi-weekly or monthly I'll just keep updating them tracking them and adding to this post so I'll just be adding videos to this post as I find potential trades on these five hot stocks for 2019 okay so that's the five we have ptc adbe unp cost costco and into so they're the five stocks i'm going to be tracking throughout 2019 with this video and we'll just see how how much um, money we can make on these trades a longer term swings shorter term swings on the 60 minute breakouts that sort of thing so wishing you a happy new year and a very very profitable training year for 2019